The origin story of Netflix's The Watcher's true crime history. Dean and Nora Branagh, played by Bobby Cannavale, and Naomi Watts migrate to a dreamy New Jersey neighborhood, where they believe their children will be protected from the perils of the outside world in the now streaming series. But something evil is concealed in these prosperous communities. The couple soon begins to receive threatening letters from someone identifying themselves as the Watcher after settling into their new house. Any fan of American Horror Story should feel right at home as this unwanted pimple starts to terrify the family. The Watcher, which also features Jennifer Coolidge and Mia Farrow from Rosemary Beatty, rivals AHS. Murder House by deviating significantly from the horrifyingly real event that served as its inspiration. The actual events, however, are still a scary story in and of themselves. Continue to watch if you dare to discover the true narrative behind Netflix's most recent horror series, which may cause you to reconsider signing your next lease. When did the Watcher send the first letter? The real-life pair Derek and Maria Broadus served as the inspiration for the Branachs in The Watcher. The couple in June 2014 got their first letter from The Watcher three days after closing on their house in Westfield, New Jersey. The home's six bedrooms, three bathrooms, and large block letters were addressed to the new owner on the white envelope. The estate was constructed in 1905, according to the 2018 New York Magazine article that served as the basis for the Netflix series, there was a written message inside that began, Dear new neighbor at 657 Boulevard, allow me to welcome you to the community. The message's tone rapidly become much less kind. The house, which is 45 minutes outside of New York City, has been the focus of my family for decades now, and as it approaches its 110th birthday, I have been put in charge of observing and waiting for its second coming according to the anonymous author. In the 1920s, my grandpa kept watch over the home, and in the 1960s it was my father. Now is the moment for me. The Broduce's knowledge of the 3869-square-foot single-family home's past was questioned in the letter. Are you aware of what is contained within 657 Boulevard's walls? The writer questioned why are you here, I will investigate. According to reports, the cops examined the house and discovered nothing in the walls. The letter, criticizing the couple for making house improvements and threatening to abduct, their three children seems to have been written by someone who had done their research on the Broadus family. Was your previous home inadequate for the expanding family, or was it avarice to bring me your kids? The enigmatic stalker said in his letter, I will call to them and lure them to me once I know their names. The message was unsigned and ended with the menacing words welcome my buddies. Let the celebration begin. The signature read the watcher in typed cursive. What did the Watcher do next? The second letter arrived two weeks after the first one. The Watcher wrote the employees have been busy and I have been watching you unload carloads of your personal goods. It's a wonderful touch to have a dumpster. Have they yet discovered what is hidden in the walls they will eventually? The Watcher alluded to the Broduces by name this time, but spelled their last name incorrectly as Mr. and Mrs. Gratis. The amount of information that this individual knew about them Netflix's, and their family, the watchers, including the names history. and birth dates of their children, Dean made and Nora Derek Brana, and Maria concerned. Cannavale, the family had not yet moved into their new house New due to the renovations and the unsettling letter, and the watcher seems eager to witness this. The, outside world the, the author questioned series. whether or not they would permit their but children or young blood to play in the basement. Communities. Or are they reluctant the to go down there by themselves? If I were them, I would be really terrified. The remainder of the home is distant from it. They Any stated, of if American you were upstairs you would never hear them right scream. Home, as this the Watcher informed the family that the they family. passed by numerous times the a day in the same message. My life's and work and my devotion Rosemary is 657 AHS. Boulevard, and you Bradis family are now. Derek and Maria stopped bringing their children to what was meant to be their new home after the second letter. They got another letter a few weeks later. What happened to you, writer? The if Watcher, the address 657 Boulevard, needs you. Most recent Did the Broadus family ever move into 657 Boulevard?
In fact, the they put the house the back on the market six months the after closing on the $1.4 million dollars deal to buy it. The, inspiration for the, the spooky letters the prevented them from finding the a buyer, which the Broadduces decided to share to anybody who came to view the home. Closing on their house Derek told New York Magazine, I don't see how you go through what we did and believe you could do it to anyone else. Were to the the Broadduces tried to sell a house once more in 2016 for $1.25 million, but purchasers balked because of the letters. Article that the family's the real estate the attorney series, proposed that they sell a, a house to a developer who would began, demolish it. Dear new neighbor, this move would have required the approval Boulevard, of the Westfield Planning Board to since the it would have violated local building codes to divide the land into two dwellings. After a contentious four-hour board hearing, when several neighbors voiced their concerns that demolishing 657 Boulevard would diminish the value of their houses and impair the neighborhood attractiveness. The proposal from the Broadus was overwhelmingly refused. Was the watcher ever caught? Police had a hunch that someone in the Westfield neighborhood was responsible for the letters from the start. According to New York Magazine, initially they had faith in Michael Langford. The Broadus next-door neighbor whose family had been residing there since the 1960s. And who was described as kind of a Boo Radley figure by another neighbor. Langford wasn't arrested, and there wasn't any concrete proof against him. Authorities looked into Andrea Woods, the former owner of the house, and Michael's sister Abby Langford, a real estate agent. When a further examination indicated that the DNA on the envelope was from a female. Both were incompatible. Even Maria's DNA was examined, but she was immediately found to be innocent. Another potential suspect a guy who according to his girlfriend enjoyed very dark video games and frequently played as the character the watcher was also eliminated after failing to show up for many contacts with law enforcement what happened to the house at 657 boulevard the broducies sold the house in the summer of 2019 for nine hundred and fifty nine thousand dollars incurring a four hundred thousand dollars loss on a property they never resided in the broducies issued the new owners a statement saying we wish you nothing but the serenity and tranquility that we once dreamed of in this property. Through their real estate attorney according to a piece in the cut of New York Magazine in October. For the chance that any fresh letters did come in, they also sent a photograph of the watcher's handwriting. None have up till now. That's all for today's origin story video guys. Tell us your thoughts in the comment section. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Let us know what origin story you'd like to learn about next in the comments. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this video. See you in the next video. Until then, best wishes. Thanks for watching.